Hello everybody and welcome back to, well, I was going to say Imperator, but uh, this is not Imperator at all. This is Crusader Kings. Fantastic. Welcome to Crusader Kings 3. You're now playing as, well, you know the story better than we could. You've ruled for centuries in the classical era, dodging the Greeks and the Romans, and now you're here leaning towards feudalism, skipping the centuries perhaps, wondering what might have caught, what? What you have caused that presented... Wow, words are incredibly difficult. I should restart this, but uh, that sounds like work. So let me try restarting from the comma. Wondering what have you caused that prevented the birth of Christ and the prophecies of Muhammad? However, let us just add that some bugs may be lingering around and the translations may be wrong in some places. Yes, so there's going to be some awkwardness here at the beginning of this, and that is because we ended the game... Well almost 800 years ago <laughs> now actually over 800 years ago let's take a quick look at rome to illustrate what one of those problems is with the import this guy's 867 he's not going to last that much longer now you'll notice we're not 867 that's because i made us a custom ruler based as much as i could off of our existing ruler which didn't have an education trait, which wasn't actually possible. So we went for amateurish plotter. It's fine. We were honest, trusting, and content as we imported in. This is basically exactly as we imported in, except our husband, ourselves, and our children are all much younger. <laughs> They're not 867 years old. So yeah, we've skipped like 900 years here, and the reason I did that instead of starting the game at 0 AD, which is also possible, the reason why I did that is because of the, uh, not lifestyle perks, because of the innovations here. These innovations are not available until 900, 1050, and 1200, so we'd be sitting in the tribal era for a ludicrously long time. Now, I should point out we are feudal. We did import as feudal. So if we come in over here, you can see we've got ourselves a uh, castle holding, a city holding. We've got some empty holdings around, but a lot of these are filled out nicely. So we're going to definitely do some work on getting our capital and our secondary duchies set up. You can see that we're over our domain limit and we imported with all of these vassals. These guys are going to die off pretty soon and we're going to inherit all of these. So we're going to be able to structure our realm however we want to. And that's probably for the best. Now I do want to point out, these are the de jure kingdoms. You can definitely see that uh, these are not the way that they normally are in Crusader Kings. These are the de jure empires. So all we've got is the Roman Kingdom, Armenia, Persian, Magadan, Kyrgyz Khanate, and, the, and Carthage over here. There's not a lot of de jure empire titles. So if we look at like Mordvinia here, this is de jure not really part of anything. It's a kingdom title. But it's not de jure part of a empire. That's going to make things kind of interesting, for sure. Uh, this is definitely going to be a little different. So we need a lifestyle focus, right? We do have better intrigue focus, but I'm actually going to go for stewardship wealth focus here. Because we're going to want to get started on that. Now, if we look at our de jure empire here, this is our de jure capital. And Greater Armenia here is the de jure duchy for that. That's actually a pretty solid duchy. We're probably going to keep that as our capital. What would be our secondary duchy that we would go for, for our economic duchy? Maybe this over here? One, two, three, four. That's not bad. And quite a lot of holdings over here. I think that that's what we're going to likely end up going for. Now, if we look at this, this is currently held by this guy. He's going to die eventually. And that's okay. We do actually have some intrigue focus points to put in, apparently. And uh, we could go for... We could go for, like, Dread Gain. Truth is relative, perhaps. Like, weeds in a garden, and then, say, 
digging for dirt. I don't really care too much what we get over here. That's completely fine. Now, we are going to want to set up an education, and he's already set as a stewardship focus. So we're going to want to educate him. And who do we want to educate him? Well, I mean, everyone here is going to die. So that's going to be a thing. Now, it bears noting when the AI dies off and their, their line dies out, that does mean that they'll just create a new child. And I think that they're going to switch to a different house, but that's fine. As long as it is our house that continues here. Hmm. I can't help but notice that's not house haunted. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's okay. I accidentally didn't have it be part of that house, but sure. Sure. It's okay. We we don't actually mind that. This is fine. Okay. So we're going to start proceeding here pretty soon, but we're going to need to hand out quite a lot of territory down over this way. We don't need to hold all of this ourselves, so we're just going to grant them off to random nobles. Uh, no. Grant to Noble of the Armenian Culture. There we go. So how many of these do we have to grant off? We have to grant off four more. So that's completely fine. And we will do exactly that. One, two, three, and four. Okay, cool. So there's that. Now, we're going to need a lot of gold. That's mostly going to be what we need. And we also need to, in all of these holdings that are empty, we want to build castles. Now, we can't get rid of these city holdings or temple holdings. So, like, this city holding here, it's going to stay the way it is. There are two temple holdings here. We can't get rid of one of them. That cannot be demolished. So, there's nothing we can do about that. That said, there are a lot of empty holdings available. Now, can we build any currently? We have the Mott's Invention. We do not have city planning. Okay. We did start fairly technologically advanced. So that's good. We're going to swap over to city planning and immediately. Barracks is being exposed, so that's completely fine. Now, we are going to need to wait for this guy to die. Which he personally holds all of this. So he should die fairly soon. He is, after all, extremely old. <laughs> and once we have that happen, then this will all start uh, becoming a thing. Cataphracts, huh? Interesting. We can't really go about enlarging our army size for the moment. And we should keep in mind, it's very likely that one of these two will try to attack us. So we're going to tick forward here a little bit. We are the new empress. It now follows us to lead the vast empire. This person left behind. Okay. Long live the empress. Beautiful. So we're not Neurontid, but that's okay. I'm not attached to being a Neurontid. We have some disabled buildings currently, and we will get those back eventually. What's our council up to? Okay. So all of these people are... Well, actually, this person is only 56. But all of these people are tremendously old. They will die after a little while. For now, I think that we're going to stay on foreign affairs. Being on collect taxes is probably acceptable. What's the, uh... Hills. Okay. That's probably fine. Yeah, we're on organized army and disrupt schemes. So that should all be okay. We do want to immediately begin investing in our income. So, to that end... We are going to be building what in our capital here? Now, we can't build in our economic duchy just yet, which is unfortunate. But we're going to be putting in barracks and military camps for two of these, for sure. And then probably hunting grounds or pastoral lands. We need to decide which one. Men-at-arms maintenance reduction, skirmishers and archers. And then we're, we're very heavy infantry focused, or we were previously, and we'll probably stick with that. So pastoral lands would be heavy cavalry and light cavalry. Whereas hill farms would get us more money. 
it'd be a percent levy size increase rather than a flat one. This would probably actually be the best bet. So we go for hill farms, barracks, military camps in most of these. And then, of course, we have the one additional slot, which would be either hunting grounds, 1.3, or pastoral lands, 1.3. Okay, so we're probably going to end up going for hunting grounds for those. But for right now, we're going to start constructing hill farms. Beautiful. We'll get those underway. And these buildings will eventually be uh, a thing. How much... How much would we eventually get from this? We should probably think about swaying her. We do not want to toss money that way. That's for sure. No money going that way at this moment. Next up, we're of course going to build hill farms over here as soon as we get our gold influx. There we go. We need to work on building up our economy very, very heavily right now. That is absolutely our top focus at this moment. Now you can see here, our total number of soldiers is not amazing compared to what we had. The Persian Empire and the Roman Empire are both a little stronger than us, and that's to be expected. We're about the same strength as Egypt and slightly stronger than Carthage. So yeah, that's importing approximately correctly. That'll be fine. Now, a lot of these guys over here are going to end up dying. And they're going to die pretty soon. His health is poor, but he's 867. <laughs> they will definitely die soon. But we are, for the time being, going to be investing heavily over here. We are pregnant. That's fine. And we're building hill farms in both of these locations at this time. So... We could receive this guy in our royal court, and so we shall. Speaking of which, we have not... Or actually, uh, 75 prestige. Prestige is not tremendously important to us right now in this particular game. In our other game, it's tremendously important. But there is this little language here. 75 gold? Mm. I don't want to spend money right now, even on languages. We can put up some court artifacts. We can put up a house banner. And we can also put up a dynasty banner. And we'll put both of those up for sure. That's all we can do there for now. Cool. Now at this moment, we don't really want to start going up the grandeur tiers with our court amenities. So we're not going to do that at this exact juncture. Are we levitating? It kind of looks like we're levitating. <laughs> okay, sure. That's absolutely fine. Proposing an alliance, a neighboring ruler. We're going to decline this for the moment. Okay. Excellent. So this city here will, of course, need to be developed as well. But that will happen after we develop our castles. We're going to develop our castles as soon as we can. 25 gold for a mason's workshop, huh? 5% building reduction cost would probably end up being quite worthwhile. Yes. We're going to do it. That'll be fine. Now, we are currently in wealth focus, and we're going to work our way down Avaricious as soon as we can. I believe we cannot raid, correct? Correct. We cannot raid. So raiding is not an option. These guys are likely going to die soon. It'll take a little time for Crusader Kings to get that all under control. But all of these very, very old people, yeah, they're uh, they're not going to last more than a, a few years. So it should be fine. They're already starting to fall, I believe. And there we go. This guy just died. That is beautiful. Sadly, we did not get most of this duchy over here. So we're going to grant this off to a noble, random. Random noble up over here. Random noble up over here. And random noble over here. Okay. So we have these six. These are now reporting to us 
in Shirvan. And this duchy title has not been created. Okay. None of these have been created. That's fine. We do need a new chancellor, and we're going to put in this guy. He's not going to last long, but that's okay. We did inherit some gold as well, and it looks like this already has Hunter's Lodges. That is reasonably fine. We're going to put in Hill Farms. Hmm. These odds are not good. Let's move on. Now, I want to check, what is the de jure capital of this duchy? Okay, so we should probably move our capital here. And we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. This is now our capital. So that'll be fine. We wanted that to be the case because of the duchy buildings. So that'll be fine. This is a good duchy. No doubt about it. This is also a good duchy. So for now, we're just waiting for these guys to all die <laughs> just a little bit. And once they die, then we are definitely going to look into restructuring this realm a little bit and getting it all put together. But for the time being, we're far more interested in investments. Do we want hill fort, or rather, do we want hill farms or do we want quarries? Actually, we can't build hill farms here. It has to be quarries. Okay, that'll be fine. We'll get that going. We just had a sun, so that's fine. We need two more castles constructing. We already have quarries here. So this one will, in fact, be... Mm, this has to be pastoral lands over here. That's fine. So we need a good amount more money for that. We do need to hold court, so we'll go ahead and do that. Well, here are petitioners. There are three, and we'll get our first one. Okay, so this queen here, she's 867. She is... Oh, she developed a written language specifically for the women of the court since the letters are mostly taught to men. If you allow it, I'll begin teaching the ladies at once. I cannot help but imagine the freedom such a language would grant. So we could have a language of women. Okay. Sure, do it. Okay, next up, uh, this guy, or rather this queen... Ordunus is among the greatest houses of Armenia, and Armenian council should always be heard by the Empress. So we could give council rights guaranteed. Relinquish the Ordunus house banner. And we would get that. 53% chance. Okay. I hear you have a fine collection. She was vexed by the demand. Okay. So this guy says that the end is nigh. Okay, sure. So we could become celibate and gain 250 piety. Or we could gain 100 piety and 20 dread and kill him. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to light him on fire. Perfect. What could go wrong? Uh, there's... Right. Our business here is done. Perfect. Okay, so who is this guy? We're no longer malnourished. Apparently we were malnourished. This guy is proposing an alliance. I mean, they were previously our tribal vassal. I'm actually going to decline that. There we go. So we're going to eventually want to attack like Abkhazia here would actually be a good person to go after. We could do a holy war for county. Other orthodox rulers could join the war. I believe there are no other orthodox rulers. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. We're going to do it. We're going to declare war on this gentleman. Holy War for County. And let's go. Technically, it's faster to raise here. Cool. And in we go here. We do have some onagers. Oh, okay. So I guess we got some men at arms inherited from the king who died. That's fine. No problem here. Bowmen, onagers, pikemen, cataphracts, and light horsemen. So we'll take a look at what we want our men-at-arms to be a little later on. For now, I'm not too concerned about it. We'll take over this county. 
We're already at 50% war score. And we'll just siege this down. Do we have a siege leader? We should. Yes, there we go. So that siege should go much faster. We've already got a breach, so that is absolutely fine. We are losing gold right now, which isn't ideal, but we can construct over here, and we already have simple stone quarries, so we need pastoral lands here. Unfortunately, we're missing 38 gold for that, so we'll pass on that for the moment. This siege will be done in four months. Okay, sounds good. We're getting 1.4 per day, and the siege events are progressing it a little faster as well. In fact, so far it's quite a bit faster. Yeah, it's a stalemate there. Not the worst thing, but not the best either. Okay, sounds good. 40 more days. And make that 20. And this will end the war. Beautiful. I don't know why this imported as not part of our realm, but it is now part of our realm. Fantastic. We'll disband our troops, and of course we need to grant this out. So, uh, do we want... Mazdian Faith? No, we want... Oh! Maz... That is an organized Zoroastrian Faith. Okay, sounds good. We should take a look at our faith, probably. Divine marriage, ritual celebrations, and sky burials. Okay, sure. Nothing too crazy here. Okay, sounds good. That'll be fine. So we need a little bit of gold to construct over here. We will, of course, be building pastoral lands as the only real option here. We're lacking 29 gold for that. Hmm... She saw through our efforts. That's okay. We don't care about prestige. We've got plenty. We are already feudal, so cash is more important. Alliances are being proposed. We did just inherit the kingdom of Scythia and a house banner. Okay. So let's go ahead and put in our court artifacts here. So we've got a number of these that we can actually hang up. No artifacts available. Okay, actually that's all we can do for now. Sounds good, and then we need to hand out that territory, which is over here. So this will, for now, just be granted to a noble of the Armenian culture. We were working on converting all of this after all. So that'll be fine. Hybrid cultures. Work towards forming a hybrid culture with the Scythians. Okay. That's kind of neat. But we're not going to do that for now. And we're pregnant again. Okay, sure. That's fine. So we're going to go ahead and build our pastoral lands here. And we almost have enough at this point. Oh, we need a new counselor. That will need to be this guy. He's only 37, so we're already starting to see these be replaced. That's perfect. We also, I think, lost... Ah, this up here needs to be granted out. Perfect. Okay, there we go. So we're now making 10.3 gold per month, and we're going to be able to construct over here quite soon. Farms and fields will be what we want to put in. That'll be 142 gold, so that's only a couple of months away. Beautiful. So we are, of course, working on our economy at this time. Rome has bulked up their power levels a bit. We are doing okay over here, so no problems there at this juncture. We're going to want to redo our men-at-arms at some point. There's no doubt about it. But for now, they'll be fine. Our court grandeur is level 4. Sounds good. When is our construction over here going to finish up? In 9 months. Okay, so we're going to be able to get construction going in all of these simultaneously. That is fantastic. We are really, really happy about that. So we're going to construct these crop fields in a moment. Well, that's going to be a couple more months. I actually want to check here. So this castle we don't actually hold. That's fine. I want to check that we hold all of the county capital castles. And we do. Okay, so that's good. We're going to need a total of four more domain limit out over here eventually. 
Interesting that this built two cities. I actually really like that. That's not possible, generally, but that's what it did. It built two cities here. Usually one of these would have to be a temple. That's great. So yeah, we're going to need our domain limit to come up by four. So we can grab golden obligations here. And that's absolutely fine. So we'll take that. It is also time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will continue to work on some Armenian investment here. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time. Oh, okay. This kid is sickly. Sure. <laughs>